tracking the COVID-19 vaccine. Good news tonight. South Carolina is expecting its largest shipment of the vaccines next week. This will help get those first shots into the arms of thousands. Plus, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine could be approved as early as this weekend. Fox Carolina's Zach Roletsky explains how the state would handle a possible new approved vaccine and why the increase in allocation gets the state closer to its goal. Next week, South Carolina is expected to receive more than 100,000 first doses of the COVID-19 vaccine, the largest amount the state has seen as of yet. And for providers like here at the Prisma Health vaccination site in Greenville, it also means they could receive more doses in the near future. More COVID-19 vaccines will start arriving in South Carolina, according to DHEC. Health officials are expecting the state's vaccine allocation to increase by around 8,000 next week. As far as how much they will receive each week, uh, that predictability is, I think, probably the most important part of it is that and understanding what that minimum, um, that minimum amount that you can be essentially guaranteed that we're not doing that quite yet, but we're getting close to that. The ramp up coming as more COVID-19 vaccines could also soon become available. On Wednesday, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine was deemed safe and effective by the FDA. That vaccine is only one dose and is easier to store in transport. DHEC officials say they plan on putting that vaccine into circulation if and when it's approved. We'll probably spread it pretty widely. Um, I doubt that we're going to focus on any one particular situation because there's probably a lot of different uh, entities who could use it. While the pace of vaccinations is picking up, Dr. Linda Bell cautions people in South Carolina the fight against the virus is not over. She says it will take around 70 to 80 percent of the state's population to be vaccinated before life can return to a more normal state. So it's not until we get to those levels when we can resume some normalcy. Uh, so until we reach that point, people would need to continue to wear the mask, practice those prevention measures to prevent ongoing spread in the community. DIAC also says that South Carolina has seen a minimal amount of vaccine waste, less than 4,000 doses in total. Now, the biggest reasons for the vaccine waste, either broken or damaged vials or unused vaccine after vials have been opened. For now, reporting in Greenville, Zach Prelutsky, Fox Carolina News. The CDC breakdown of the vaccine distribution in South Carolina looks like this. 665,000 people have gotten at least one dose, just under 13%. 276,000 have been fully vaccinated, around 5.4%. Up in the Tar Heel State, 1.3 million have gotten at least one dose, or more than 13%. 714,000 have gotten both doses, that's about 6 0.8%. Now in Georgia, 1.1 million people have gotten at least one dose. 624,000 have gotten both doses. Of course, we'll have continuing coverage right here on air inside our free Fox Carolina News app and check out foxcarolina.com. We have a new setup there where you can actually look at all of those numbers right there in the middle of our homepage. It's something new. Again, it's right at foxcarolina.com.